The global Islamic finance industry is growing rapidly. In the past 30 years, the industry has witnessed the development of over 500 Sharia-compliant institutions. Ibrahim Shaharani reports on one of the latest products to emerge from the financial sector. In the midst of the current global economic crisis, there emerges a new economic niche, Islamic microfinance. Microfinance refers to the provision of financial services to poor or low-income clients, including consumers and the self-employed. But just how exactly can microfinance contribute to the economy? By uh, bringing those people into the financial sector that are currently outside the financial sector, that's one. Secondly, to enable these people by providing finance to contribute in the development and creation of wealth in an economy. And this is, since it's the largest number of people in, in this segment, anybody who can bring this uh, ability to these people to be able to produce wealth, to be able to contribute in the economy, is making a great contribution to overall even mankind, I would say, not just the economy of that particular country. Islamic microfinance represents the convergence of two rapidly growing industries, microfinance and Islamic finance. It has the potential to not only respond to unmet demand, but also to combine the Islamic social principle of caring for the less fortunate with microfinance's power to provide financial access to the poor. If you just look at the basic concepts and the principles of what we have now labeled as Islamic finance, you will realize that these principles are uh, better principles in absolute term, irrespective of whether they are seen in the light of a particular religion or not. They, on a standalone basis, are better principles to build a banking sector on rather than the ones that we are using now for the conventional banking. So purely on its technical superiority, it's just a question of time when the global banking community realizes that a banking system that is built on these principles is far better than the one that's built on uh, the current conventional practices. Islamic finance extends beyond the ban of interest-based transactions. Additional key financial principles include that money has no intrinsic worth. Money is not an asset by itself and can increase in value only if it joins other resources to undertake productive activity. For this reason, money cannot be bought and sold as a commodity and money not backed by assets cannot increase over time. Investment deemed inconsistent with sharia such as those relating to the consumption of alcohol or pork and those relating to gambling and the development of weapons of mass destruction or any activity considered harmful to society as a whole cannot be financed. Islamic microfinance has an estimated global outreach of 380,000 clients but only accounts for 0.5 percent of total global microfinance. The supply of Islamic microfinance is concentrated in three countries namely Indonesia, Bangladesh and Afghanistan. I'm Ibrahim Shahrani for Emirates News.